Tony Dungy, quarterback at Parkside High School. Every newspaper at Jackson says some Pat, they have something about Tony says this or Tony said that. He's Jackson. In Jackson, cricket licking was not one of Tony's teachers, but she did attend school with Tony's father. These days, she travels from Jackson to see two Buccaneer games a season. She certainly speaks for the folks in Jackson who are extremely proud of this living proof that the apple does not fall far from the tree. He's just like his father. He's a good Christian man. He's a good father. He's a good husband. He's a, an excellent coach. I don't know if his dad ever coached, but he's just a, a person, just a nice guy, just a nice guy. Getting autographs. I don't have to tell you how big that's uh, become over the years. And uh, this is where the players come before the game, so this is a pretty good place to get the autographs. Hello. But apparently, if you're not a player, there's uh, nobody asking you for your autographs. So, eh. The signature seekers begin lining up eh, around three hours before kickoff because you never know when the players will arrive. So how do you get some ink onto a jersey, a hat, or a card? Well, some try the sympathy angle. I've been waiting 20 years to get autographs. I flew here from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A little encouragement never hurts. And we just talk to them, say, hey, get a touch on this week or intercept one or something like that. Or you can kill them with kindness. Well, you know, you try to be as nice as you can and friendly. You may also want to try being sweet by delivering the sweets, like this lifelong Buccaneer fan who isn't as famous as Amos, but her cookies are always on time. They get them every way game, and Trent gets them every game. Even the rookies now, the rookies used to be real intimidated, like, who's this person giving me cookies? But now they're all looking for them. Monday night football. A lot of these folks plan on being at the game. Their bosses don't know that. We both just suddenly got sick. Uh, yeah. yeah, sick of working. The job Monday is to have some fun. We're going to pull in about six trucks, four cars, and we'll be uh, cooking lots of bratwurst, burgers, a little bit of everything. The football world will be watching, and the party is starting. So quickly, get ready for Monday Night Football. Oh, yeah, go box! <laughs> well, who's going to win the UPN 44 game ball? Also, how will the Bucks prepare for the Vikings for this big primetime game? All those answers. At that point of the show where we hand out our game ball, and remember, we will donate this to charity, and it will be auctioned off uh, with us today. Today, Shevin Smith accepting on behalf of the defense, and wow, what a game against Seattle for you guys. Yeah, that was a great game. I mean, we wanted to bring our A game on the road. It was a big game. They're division leaders, and it was a point to see how good we really were, and I think we, we proved to ourselves that we're a contender. Naturally, every defense want to, wants to force some turnovers, and you guys certainly got that done in Seattle. Well, yeah, all year we've been stressing we weren't making enough turnovers, and Coach said just keep pushing, keep pushing. It'll happen one game, it'll happen. And I think with that game coming before the Minnesota game, Game. It was a great confidence booster for the defense. Speaking of Minnesota, Monday night football, uh, can this game get here soon enough for you? <laughs> uh, not enough. I mean, we got the media. Everybody's calling. They want tickets. Everybody <laughs> want to come in town. So it's a lot of distractions. But like Coach said, we just got to go out. and it's, it's still just another game. I mean, they putting it on Monday night. That's for the division league. But we got to go out and play it and approach it as another game. Minnesota jumped out 21 nothing against you guys the first go around. How do you keep that from happening again? Well, I think we just got to use the crowd and the home field.